Transcentury Group moved closer to achieving its intentions of listing its shares after building one of Kenya's most close-knit and shrewd enterprises over the last 13 years. Previously, interested investors have only had access to the Transcentury shares through the over-the-counter market operated by Dyer and Blair Investment Bank. This is obviously subject to regulatory approval, um, but we are in uh, initial discussions already um, with uh, the regulators. Dyer and Blair Investment Bank will act as a lead transaction advisor, while audit firm KPMG will be the financial advisor, with Kaplan and Stratton providing legal advisory services. Unlike previous offers where shares were floated through initial public offerings, Transcentury has opted to go the equity way and will list its shares by way of introduction. Unlike an IPO whose offer price is mostly discounted and for capital raising, a company listing by introduction does not necessarily do it for capital raising purposes, while the offer price at the time of listing usually reflects the true value of the stock. Transcentury reported a net profit of 468 million shillings, representing a growth of 99%. Group revenues went up by 25% to 6.8 billion shillings, while earnings before interest and taxes rose by 22% to 974 million shillings. It's really where we've focused a lot of our uh, effort to date. And what we're happy to report is that you know, we're really seeing a lot of growth driven by both the consumer sector and the public sector. The release of the results will give potential investors a sneak preview on the strengths and future prospects of the company as they make informed decisions on whether to bet their money on the company. For Citizen Business, I am Tony Timase.